To use this feature, you must have a HealthLink certificate on your machine. Contact HealthLink directly if you require a cert. To begin in the patient chart, select Documents, Social Welfare and click Add. The first time you add this form for a patient, you will have to confirm that you have received the patient's consent to submit e-certs. Select the certificate type from the drop-down menu. Double-click to select from the list of the patient's coded conditions or double-click to select from a list of common ICD-10 codes. Select the correct from and to dates for the cert. The drop-down list will allow you to choose a custom date or to select a number of weeks that the patient will be off for. Click Submit to send the e-cert. Click Print to print the medical cert and click Save and Close to save it to the patient's file. To complete and send a Med2 e-cert, go to Documents, click on the drop-down list, select Social Welfare and click Add. When the form pops up, choose Med2 from the drop-down option. As with Med1, select the duration, the from and to, or you can choose the number of weeks and click Submit. As before, you can print the medical cert by clicking on the Print button and to save the medical cert to the file, click Save and Close. You can use the Social Welfare eCert Tracker to manage your eCerts. To do this, go to Tasks, Claim Tracker, Social Welfare, eCert Tracker. Here you will see a list of any eCerts you have done. You can filter by date, or you can change the status drop-down list to view the certificates in each of their status. Click Search to find. Rejected certificates can be corrected and resubmitted. To find your rejects, filter on the status field, click the drop down and select rejected from the drop down list. Click search. To understand why a particular e-cert was rejected, highlight to display the reason, highlight the patient and click open chart. In this example, we will update the patient's date of birth. Click on the patient's registration line and update the date of birth with the correct information. Click OK to save. Click Documents and from the drop-down menu click Social Welfare and click View. Double click to reopen the e-cert. Once the correction has been completed, click Submit. To download your e-cert, download Claim Update, click Administration, click HL7 Tests and click Import. Go to Tasks, Claim Tracker, and here you can filter on all received e-certs.